If you look at the nose of the French MB-175T, you can clearly see that there is a radar and additional crew member there. However, neither of the two are modeled in the X-ray view. Here's six minutes of hidden War Thunder details that you probably didn't notice. On most planes with countermeasures, you can freely switch between chaff and flares. However, there is one exception to this. The Swedish A-32A's countermeasure pod can only carry chaff. Soviet tanks are known for their poor gun depression. However, most late Soviet MBTs actually have their turret rings angled downward by default, giving them an extra degree of gun depression. While it's common knowledge that taking less fuel will improve flight performance, have you ever considered the weight of your ammo? Firing off all of your ammunition can increase flight performance, albeit only by a few percent. But if you really want to maximize flight performance, why stop at only removing the ammo? With the introduction of custom loadouts, you can now remove all weapon systems from certain planes, namely the F-4C and F-104S ASA. Talk about taking weight-saving measures to the extreme, hey? Speaking of the F-104 Starfighter, the A, C, and S models have abnormally powerful wheel brakes. This allows the plane to remain stationary at 100% throttle on the ground, which is a pretty unique trait amongst top-tier jets. Oh, and here's another random Starfighter fact. The F-104S ASA actually has a worse radar warning receiver when compared to the F-104S. Understandably, this has caused quite a bit of confusion among the players, and has led to many bug reports. Continuing on with top-tier jets, have you ever looked at the exhaust of the F-14 in the hangar? It's asymmetrical, but you can't unsee that now. At least you can rest easy knowing that it's historically accurate. But that's not the only mildly annoying detail we have today. Several BF-110 variants, including the F-2 and G-4, have asymmetrical air intakes. One is located on the engine, while the other is embedded in the wing. Torpedoes from friendly ships can't kill you, but for some reason, torpedoes dropped from friendly planes can. Did you know that the rangefinder modification actually affects the distance at which the ballistic calculator will appear in arcade mode? Speaking of rangefinders, the BMP-2M's laser rangefinder modification is located under the protection section rather than the firepower section. On most of the plane test drive maps, the AI-controlled ships have simple damage models. However, the Midway map is an exception to this, as the two Japanese destroyers there have fully-fledged damage models, taken directly from the squadron vehicle IJN Shimakaze. It is probably common knowledge that running out of battery power in a ground vehicle will slow down its turret traverse, but I bet you didn't know that it also slows down autoloaders. Another tangentially related fun fact, extinguishing a fire on a manually loaded tank will reset the reload progress, unless your tank is the Obl HVG. Several early Russian APFSDS shells come with a unique stat card animation. Gaijin likely made these animations to differentiate between short and long rod APFSDS. However, it seems they forgot to add it to the American T320 short rod APFSDS. The A4N stat card will show a negative climb rate if you equip the loadout with 12 incendiary bombs. Despite this, it can still take off safely from the runway and climb with no issues. Fully upgraded vehicles are commonly referred to as spaded. This is because of an image of a spade that appears after you research and purchase every modification for a vehicle. There are plenty of modifications that offer questionable utility in battle, such as night vision on low-tier tanks and rangefinders on missile SPAA. However, the auto cannon modification on the Japanese PG-02 patrol boat takes the cake, as it reduces the gun's rate of fire from 3,000 to 450 RPM. At first glance, Breslau's minimap seems to have random green lines all over the place. However, they actually correspond to the tram tracks embedded in the roads. Speaking of things on rails, the train on American Desert has a simple yet functional damage model. The TIA-LD targeting pod doesn't have a hitbox. This can cause the camera to clip under the ground if you belly land with the Jaguar. Speaking of the Jaguar, the French version has a semi-unique ability. You can drop guided bombs at supersonic speeds, a feat not possible on most other top-tier strike aircraft. While at first glance, the Merkava Mark IV and Sark Mark II have nothing in common, they actually share a unique trait in terms of War Thunder, as when both vehicles are stock, they already come with turret-mounted smoke launchers, and the resurgible smoke grenades modification instead adds a secondary internal smoke mortar. While we're on the topic of smoke grenades, the launchers on most tanks are simply called smoke grenades. However, on some Soviet MBTs, Gaijin thought it was important enough to change the name to 3D-17 smoke grenades. Clearly another example of Russian bias. Despite a countermeasure pod being present on the visual model of the MiG-21 BIS, 
it does not come with any flares when spawned in Ground Arcade. This is an outlier as the Su-17 and a few other jets don't have their countermeasure pod modeled at all. For some reason, Gaijin chose to use two different icons for the same 5-inch semi-armor piercing shell as seen here on the USS Pittsburgh and USS Cleveland. The Sun City map contains quite a few easter eggs. This ranges from the not-so-subtle pop culture references to the slightly less conspicuous reference to a major telecom company. Then there is also this office building with a hidden back room. I wonder if they are hiding some secret documents inside. Oh, and here is a slightly useful bonus fact. Did you know that you can capture the B point while on top of the overpass? We are just at the tip of the iceberg when it comes to details that you have never noticed. So why not watch one of my other details videos?